Okay, let me see where I can begin. I'm going to start with the little slideshow. The, um, Lord, I got to go get my little notebook. I brought it downstairs with me. Um, let me go, let's go, let's, let's go together and get it. I don't want y'all to have to see how messy. We didn't, we, we just about got this. Well, no, we have nowhere near got this room yet. This downstairs, but I mean, it is in, getting a little more empty now, so we're getting there. All right, let me sit down. Okay, I got my notebook. Let me see, because I had to write this down, because I don't want to, I don't want to just jabber. Um, okay, first thing was, um, the, um, I forgot what the first thing was. I'm, listen, I'm crazy, but I'll, I'll be all right. Well, anyway, I don't remember what it was, but I think it might have been just, um, there was one, two of them that just showed that I was showing Ding Dong that, um, I haven't been on here at all. Um, the video, I hadn't made a video in three weeks and it wasn't about her. And the, and the commentary was just yesterday because she was just, you know, she's hitting my nerve there talking about my sister that just passed, the one that, I, you know, I, I've always been so close to. And it just really just bothered me. I'm trying not to let her get to me no more. I really don't care what she does and I'm not going to make too many comments about her anymore because she is disgusting. She's boring. She's repetitive. I mean, she beats a dead horse like they ain't nobody's business. Anyway, what I wanted to say is um, the court documents are pretty much the most important part. That court document is something that just, I think it just basically got, it didn't get overlooked. I think it just, you know, with everything going on, it got skipped and um, it was, you know, it's special. Let me just say, it's very special. Now, I wanted to ask Mary why she doesn't want to talk about that document at all. She has it. She brought it up once and insinuated she had explained it before, but no, she hasn't. It just goes along with her lies. She don't ever tell the truth. But she needs to really talk about that. And if I recall, I saw JJ, and he actually opened that door for her to contact him. Now, it might be closed now. I don't know. But, um... You know, he did. He told her to call, contact him. The only, the other thing that was the part about JJ, I know uh, original Al and Hatman, they went over the documents, and I'm sure I know other people did too. But um, the reason why I suggest watching what uh, what JJ said, and here's why: because when I I didn't get to see it when it, he was on, but when I came back in town, I was able to watch it. And, you know, I always thought he he would make an awesome newscaster or reporter because he's just got that voice, you know, and he's smart. And anyway, he's got a sense of humor. He's got it. He's got all of it. But there was something special about it because he was straight to the point. He was articulate. He explained all them words that I have no idea what they are, him and Hat Man. And they're all so smart and they know how to talk, you know, and that's a bl that's nice. But I wanted you to watch that because, you know, I think for him, for me, I mean, it made me cry. And I know that's silly, but, you know, J.J. stumbled upon her and, and, and she was just, you know, so they all, I mean, Lord knows you can't help but laugh at her most of the time till, you, till she just, you know, keeps beating the same horse at you. But he... He, he, him, him and Kitty and Maureen and all them, they, Maureen, I'm always saying that wrong. But anyway, they kind of, they stumbled upon her. And when they did, you know, it, that opened it up for me and Sarah and, you know, it, it allowed me to actually go somewhere that I wasn't blocked because she blocked me all the time. There's one other thing I was going to point out, you know, if you look at her, how long she's been on YouTube, she says she's been on since 2015. Okay, well, she's been on longer than that, but that's beside the point. But, you know, just to push the point home, I think, I don't know, I've been on here a year. I mean, you know, I don't want to talk about her. I don't want to be, I don't want to be related to her, period. I don't want to be associated with her. Um, I can't stand her. I love you guys more. You're my family, you know. I, you're my family, and you always will be. But go see that that segment, and I, I don't know how to, I'm going to get someone to teach me, but Lord, 
go to the YouTube channel, JJ Stoner. Oh, I think somebody was going to put it in there for me. But anyway, it was the August 31st. It was August 31st, which was a Wednesday, and it was uh, primetime Wednesday. And let me see, I, even, I wrote down the, uh, start watching at around 46.07, okay? And just feel what he felt. Because for me, it was like he went full circle. He found her. He opened the door for me, which kind of gave me closure. Because when he got done on that, when he finished, let me tell you how I felt. I felt like she had, thought she, JJ, had put her on the back porch under the garbage. And most of you know what I mean. She got placed outside, discarded just like she done other people. And it just seemed like it was perfect because all this time, you know, trying to piece together her poor, miserable, pathetic life, which really, you know, I know no one had any idea just how full of garbage she really was until, you know, things just started falling out of the sky, you know, little bits and pieces that put it all together. Because, you know, nobody would believe that she was seriously talking about an actual murder, but yes, she was. You know, she was. Um, if she'd just left my family alone, we'd been just fine. But no, she couldn't do that. She ain't gonna do it now, so that's fine. But, uh, you know, she, <laughs> this is funny. I was gonna uh, bring my toilet paper down here and start a book myself, but I forgot to bring it down. But I'll get it later, you know, I'll do that any time. But she's worried to death. She's, she's so proud of herself because she knows she can't write about herself. There ain't nothing to write. I'm a liar. I'm pathetic. I stink. I'm a garbage truck full of garbage. Um, there's nothing else to say about her. I mean, she knows she's done filled that book. So I guess this time, I hope, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get it all by myself. I don't know if I'm sharing it with the guys again. Either way, I'm honored. I'm honored, honored, honored. And she knows it's going to sell more because Lord knows I have I have had an exciting life. And if she'd leave me alone, I'd tell y'all about it so I could just put it all out there and, you know, hope maybe one day my grandkids watch it and be, they know I'm crazy anyway, so they might as well know I was human too. But um, I'm, I'm trying to finish her up because I wanted to talk to y'all about the other things, but I ain't going to do it on this one. Um, so, you know, just watch Jack, JJ and then go find the others, you know, that I'm still catching up and see, just, just know that for me, the words that he, the way he did that, it was tasteful. It was classy. It was funny. It was true. And it was closure. It was the end to her pathetic story because it just wrapped it all up in a nutshell. I mean, you couldn't have got a better cake if you'd made it yourself. So, I just want you to know I felt really close to what he said. It it just, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I don't know. It's an emotional thing. It was really emotional for me um, to, to, I don't know. It felt like I had, fin I had fulfilled my mom, you know, when I told her I would never leave her. I felt like it was out there. Now, see, you know, I'm going to have to reinforce it every once in a while, but you know, because she does attract new people, which she counts on it. But And I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have wrote anything the other night. But when she said my sister's name, I thought, you dirty dog. You a dirty dog. You're going to make me start telling. You're going to make me tell my book. And, in fact, I might do that anyway just because I want y'all to know where she gets some of her stories from. And I have pictures and stuff. You know, it's pretty cool. To go back there. I don't know if I want to go back, but we'll go. Uh, it's okay. We can go. I'm old, close to the grave, I hope. Um, not. I don't mean that in a bad way, you know. I mean, I'm just okay either way. But anyway, let me, Um, I hope I got what I wanted to say on here. I'm trying to, th oh, the other thing, the car. I, that was our car. That was that five-month-old Malibu. That was the wreck he was in. Um. You know, that still has affected us quite a bit because just knowing that there was three cars involved, there was children in that car that ran the stop sign. It was a 16-year-old girl with her two little brothers. You know, we haven't got over the fact that 
one slight difference that morning, but it would have ended four people's lives. And that is just something you don't want to play around with. It's, it's something to take very seriously. Now, it wasn't, you know, there was no fault placed on the, my husband, but it doesn't matter. If you're involved in an accident when someone loses their life, it really profoundly touches you. You know, and the parents, I feel so bad for them because I know that they learned something very valuable that day. And that was, you know, make sure your 16-year-old is responsible all the time. Now, I'm not saying she wasn't. From what I was told, it was like she didn't see the car, the, the Malibu. She saw the car behind him. And that's happened to all of us, you know. And whether she'd be experienced or not, it still would have. Could have happened that way. But if she hadn't been in a hurry, she wouldn't have darted out there like that. You know, it, it might have made a little difference. But, you know, I think about that every time I think back to my son, 16. And, you know, we had to get it, had to do the car. Could have cost him his life. He, he did on, you know, it was scary. Um, and that bothered me about this car accident that Ding Dong was talking about. Because if y'all recall, she'd had me driving that car. And she has it all wrong. And I wish... If she's going to base some truth in there, I wish the Lord should just tell the truth. And she don't know. She just don't know. She wasn't around. That's what's so sad. She's just making it up. She wasn't even old enough, you know, to even know details of most of the things she talks about. And it just burns my butt. I can't stand it. You know, I can't stand it. I just want to, I'm telling you, I was very, I guess in some ways I was a, a fun mom, but I was a strict mom. Don't lie to me. Don't play me. Because I'll take you down. And I'll take you down hard. And I just want to take her down. I, I talked to my husband about it tonight. You know, I'm like, I don't know, you know. Everybody's leaving. They're going. And um, I don't know if I can handle. I don't know if I want to. I'm, I want to find the easy solution to just make her <sighs> go back somewhere else. Get back on the corner. Do what you got to do, but leave me alone. Leave everybody on line alone. Um, you know, we just don't belong here, Mary. And, and you know, I had fun, and I love everybody, and I'm not letting them go. But do I have enough sense to know I'm not one of them? I'm not a creator. I'm just somebody defending my mom and my family, and, and I'm proud of where we come from i'm pr not proud of where we come from i am proud of how we came from where we were i'm proud of the the strength that it took to get there i'm not a strong person i get up every day because i'm forced to but i come from strong women and and i'm proud of that i'm proud of i can hold my head up and i'm i'm proud of that and i'm not ashamed of anything i've ever done I may not I may not want my kids to do it, but I'm not ashamed. You know, I wish I'd made better choices, but you know what? Hey, I am who I am, and I'm a little lopsided and a little crooked, and I'm going to hang everything. It's not going to match, and it's going to probably be crooked. And my husband, he's like this level guy, and everything matches, and that's good for him. And, and um, we match each other pretty good because we're different. So... You know, that's just how it is. So I just would tell y'all I love you. And I'm going to come pop back on in a minute because this is getting too long. And I'll tell you about how things did not go. Okay. Oh, oh sorry, y'all. I'm just dropping y'all everywhere and hoping. I, I just got to get this ring. I got to repaint it and I don't want to. But anyway, let me, let me talk to y'all later. I love you all. And I'll see you in a little bit.